Well, it's packing night. You can see the whole gear explosion almost kind of neatly laid out here on the table. Uh, I'm going to go over everything that I'm going to take on a three day trip, uh, about a 30 miler. So this is going to be my lightweight spring backpacking setup. Uh, we're looking at lows down into about uh, upper 40s, so uh, not cold by any means. But uh, let's get right into it. I'll show you what I'm going to bring. First up on the list are the Gossamer Gear LT5 super lightweight trekking poles. I have the Lightheart Gear Solo tent, and I also have the Tyvek uh, footprint with that. I usually uh, or sometimes bring Polycryo, but I'm going for a little bit of luxury on this one. I also have super lightweight titanium uh, shepherd hook stakes. Uh, I'm going to go with the Hammock Gear Econ Burrow 20 degree on this trip. Definitely going to be overkill. I probably could have went with the Costco quilt, but it's kind of going to be a stretch for that. So I'm going for more comfort on this one. Got a new sleeping pad for this trip. This is the uh, Notorious Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, the uh, 12 ounce uh, regular size version. Uh, really excited to try that out. I have the Helinox Chair Zero. I have a raincoat. This is kind of clothing, but uh, it's not going to be in my clothing bag. So let's get to the clothing bag, which I'm using just a cheap Walmart bag. I'm going to bring a puffy. Might not use it at all, but for the weight, uh, the warmth is really, really good. Plus, I'm not going to bring a base layer at all. So that is a good uh, plan B. Uh, North Face fleece. It's a zip up. It is super, super lightweight. I have one extra pair of socks I'm bringing, which are smart wools. I'm going to bring the uh, North Face beanie just because I might want to sleep in it at night. I might not need it, but it'll just be more padding for uh, my pillow because I usually stuff any clothing and stuff I'm not using in the clothes bag uh, to be my pillow at night. Uh, also going to bring the Mont Bell wind shirt, which you guys have seen in about every video since I've owned it. I love this thing. Two ounces, a little over two ounces. Definitely worth the wait for... Uh, how much extra warmth it gives you just uh, to take the edge off. And I also have some really uh, short um, shorts. Because I don't have a rain gear, like a rain kilt or rain pants, I'm just planning on getting my running shorts that I'm wearing wet and I'll have these to put on if I really need something dry to wear around camp. On the topic of clothing, let's look at what I'm going to wear. I have synthetic boxers, synthetic shirt, uh, dirty girl gaiters. I have uh, either seven or nine inch inseam running shorts, um, Garmin Phoenix watch. I have smart wool ultralight uh, wool socks and Brooks Cascadia 12s, which are gonna need updated soon, but they are still kicking. So this might be one of the last trips for them. Coming back over here to food, the staple of all hikers, Snickers bars, love those things. Um, a whole bunch of Chips Ahoy cookies, uh, gummy snacks, goldfish, crackers that will be used for my uh, buffalo and honey barbecue chicken and tuna creations, two packs of oatmeal for breakfast, chicken and rice finally using up the last of the tin that I bought to go out to Colorado last year. So I'm just trying to use all that up on this trip. Got tang for drink additive to help with a uh, nasty water taste if that becomes an issue. Also have one grower's cup coffee. Uh, one morning with coffee is enough for me and that will all be going in the light AF little bear bag, little flat bottom bear bag. Also have a little flask here and two one liter smart water bottles, which I'll be drinking out of majority of the days. Uh, for filter, I have the Sawyer Squeeze in a plastic bag inside a, a bottle that I cut for a scoop and that's all wrapped in a one liter Sawyer bag, which everybody uh, complains about these bags. I've never had one pop, I've never had an issue with one, but I'm also very gentle with them. Um, but just in case that bag would uh, pop, I'm gonna bring a spare, like a 16 ounce a little bag, just so I, I have that covered. For the cook system, I have a Toke 650 milliliter uh, titanium pot that goes in this little Reflectix koozie I made. I keep a multi-purpose chamois cloth in the pot here. Not gonna bring the bandana on this trip because uh, I had to throw it out. I'm gonna get a new one, but I'll keep that in there. I have just a small little pop can stove with no pot holder still. Uh, 
Just haven't put the time into researching that, so we're gonna have to find rocks again on this trip, but that's okay with me. Um, also have uh, the headlamp. I like to keep my headlamp in the pot, honestly. I feel like it has less of a chance of the button getting pressed. That goes in there with also a little piece of steel wool uh, for a pot holder. Stuff that in there. I have a, a little cheap spork. I've always used these. These are from KFC Famous Bowls. They work pretty good, never broken one. Now this is all ditty bag stuff. Pretty much everything here. Uh, some are in separate bags, but they will all be going in a clear Ziploc bag. And we have more Eldris. I like, I like taking a knife with me. Also like taking a saw. This is a really good six ounce saw it's a silky f180 highly recommended uh, if you want to check out my amazon links down below that will be listed it's a really really good buy here we got the chapstick we got a toothbrush um toothpaste first aid kit and um, also the repair kit for the neoair um, if my uh, sleeping pad will get a hole in it i have uh, the deuce of spades poop trowel i have the light af bear bag kit extra headlamp batteries, one lighter, toilet paper, and tissues. I don't even know why I bring these half the time, but it's definitely allergy season for me, and I know it's gonna kick in hardcore here pretty soon, so I'm just gonna bring these so I don't have to use all my toilet paper if I uh, need to blow my nose a lot. That's all going in this bag, and I also have a couple extra bags for uh, trash or you know anything else I want to separate once I get out there. The pack is a Hyperlite Mountain Gear 2400 Porter. This is a 40 liter backpack. I have a little foam pouch on here a subscriber sent to me uh, made by Zimmerbilt. It's pretty nice. I'd like to get like a normal just a, a mesh pocket for stuff but this works out really well. I usually just put a couple Snickers bars in there or something and don't really use it for the phone a lot. But I uh, have the uh, hand sanitizer now which is a must when you're out there going to the bathroom and don't have anywhere to wash your hands. The bag has the uh, Porter water bottle holders on both sides that hold the one liter smart water bottle very nicely. Also have the Porter stuff pocket, which is a very generous uh, pocket on the front of this thing. So that's pretty much it for all the camping, hiking gear. Now let's get into the YouTube stuff. I will be taking a pretty heavy tripod this is a little bit over two pounds. It's not the one I ordered, but I never sent it back because it's way better than the one I ordered. Uh, but it's it's kind of too nice to take out on the trail, so hopefully this will be the last time I have to take it out. But I'm gonna be carrying a tripod. I'm gonna carry a GoPro just as a backup camera because my new camera, I only have one battery for, and although it's new and the battery life well exceeds my old camera which is this actually you know one battery probably won't get me through three days so i will have backup and then the phone if that fails um i have extra battery for the microphone which is not pictured here because i'm using it i have extra sd cards one extra lens that gets a little bit better low night uh, low light uh, performance um and then the canon sl2 camera which like I said, is not this, but it's similar. It's actually a little bit smaller than this one. Uh, camera gear will be going into this blue dry sack, and I also bring a gallon Ziploc bag so that if it's raining, I can just kind of put the bag over the camera and still kind of film in the rain and stuff. That is pretty much everything that I'm gonna be taking to Pennsylvania, the tick capital of the country. So all my clothes were freshly soaked in permethrin today. Not, not taking any chances uh, from that, even though it's early in the year, they are probably out already. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack all this stuff up and get some weights down and see what that looks like. Okay, so I have uh, everything packed except for camera gear, food, and water. And I'm even going to throw on the uh, Gossamer Gear uh, trekking poles because most of the time I will be uh, carrying these on the pack when I have the camera in my hand and obviously sometimes I'm going to put the camera away and be using the poles. We have a base weight of 12 pounds even and that's with a one pound chair, a couple extra little amenities, things that I don't... Uh, really really need but that's a good base weight for this trip and considering uh, I don't have a lot of food and stuff 
uh, the overall weight's gonna be pretty good. So let's throw that in and get it weighed up. All right, we have two liters of water on the side. Food, it's starting to fill up now through the pools back on top here. Is 19 pounds, seven ounces. So not bad, a little bit heavier than I was expecting. I was really hoping to be down into the 18s, but that's still not bad. Uh, once I start eating and drinking, that uh, weight will drop significantly. Okay, so I just weighed in at 22 pounds, one ounce with camera gear. Now that's with the camera and the poles uh, all packed in. So that's like if I wanted to carry nothing, which most of the time I'm either, either gonna have the camera in my hand or I'm gonna have trekking poles in my hand. Uh, and judging from the elevation, it definitely looks like there's gonna be some elevation even though we're gonna be riding the ridge most of the time. But pretty satisfied with the pack weight, that's not bad. That is a pretty standard loadout for me. Uh, decently lightweight. Stay tuned for that trip video. It should be coming up. It's going to be a good one. A lot of colorful characters going to be there this weekend. Uh, hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe for more and uh, we'll see you on the next one.